your dose of entertainment every weekday from 7 to 10. Why in the morning is the name of the show. Why254 is the name of the channel. And uh, we had an amazing talk with Kalam Eval, our resident guest, uh, Miss Panina, and the rest of the crew. That was amazing. And we had another interview with a fashion designer earlier called uh, Nudi Akello, if I'm right. And right about now, it's time for music and lifestyle. And we have none other than, she's been here before, Wayinke. Yes. Karibu sana. Thank you. Yes, uh, you're back. I'm this back. means you've been putting in a lot of work. Yeah, I have. You have more content for us. Yes. I'll get back to you. Uh, our S, our WhatsApp line is blowing up. Guys are sending in a lot of messages. And please remember, when you send your message, remember to write your name so we can give you a shout out. So uh, I can see a lot of messages coming. Uh, hello, I'm Frida from Imbu. I love the show. Just play for me Malaika Banyashinsky. We are going to find a way to play that. Thank you for tuning in to Why in the Morning. Hey, I'm Lizzie from Mombasa. Add me on the WhatsApp group. We do not have a WhatsApp group yet. Uh, just send us our your, your message direct to this line. We'll read it out. Send your request as well. And uh, um, we have Martin. Martin says, hey, I'm Martin. I'd like to get a very nice jeans outfit for my girlfriend. Any advice? I think this was directed to Nudi, so we'll talk to Nudi and then get back to you. But until then, back to Wayinke. Wayinke, yes. you have a new song out. You've yes. been doing shows every Wednesday at Club Hypnotica. And hosting, Sunday. Hosting and performing. Um, hosting fashion nights uh -huh. uh, on Wednesdays. Uh -huh. And I'm performing as a musician on Sundays. You're working on your debut album. Yes. And... Uh, Zama is the lead single. Yes. We're going to be talking about Zama. Tell me something else that you've been doing that I've not mentioned. Oh, what else have I been doing? Uh -huh. Writing more music. Writing more music. <laughs> yeah, and doing fashion shows. And doing fashion shows. Some other local performances. Uh -huh. All right. I'm sorry to bring this to the table, but uh, there's a very provocative picture of yours. Where? I saw online. Where? <laughs> uh, Seriously, where? Yes, and uh, d the tension you get. How are you dealing with that tension? Because you're a model. I wish we could project the pictures to the screen. Where? But you can follow her online. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she'll be giving the handles later. How do you deal with all that tension? Being a model and being an artist, I understand that you have to dress some type of way in, on the runway sometimes. Mm -hmm. But uh, the pictures are really provocative. I'm guessing you have a lot of attention that comes with it. Okay, I'm not sure if I have any provocative photos online, uh -huh. but um, attention comes with the right, model or not. provocative is relative. I admit. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it is relative. Mm -hmm. But um, as a woman or as, as a lady, mm -hmm. attention comes whether you're a model or not. It just comes. Do all we, the ladies just... in the building conquer? <laughs> so... All right. <laughs> yeah, you just get attention. So uh -huh. we, we, we've, learned, we've learned to deal with it. You've learned to deal with it. Yes. All right, back to the music. Before I go to the music, <laughs> I have another controversial question. Uh -huh. Your dad, I was made to understand, mm -hmm. is a very great man of God. My mother is a pastor. Oh, your mom. Yes. Is a great, great woman of God. Yeah, and she loves fashion. And she loves fashion as well. Yes. How is she dealing with your career? Um, she's okay. Your she was choice a model. Of career. She was she a model. She was a model. Mm -hmm. She is a singer. Mm -hmm. Bef before she became a pastor, mm -hmm. she was a singer. All right. the church so and she was miss busia by the way all right <laughs> during busia. her days so right. she understands my passion mm -hmm. so you're from busia county um well. actually i'm from alego i'm alego. I'm, I'm a half caste oh working obama <laughs> yes all right all right land of the great people <laughs> all right <laughs> talking about fashion you look gorgeous as well thank you did you do this yourself Oh, no. I, I don't know how to make clothes. I just mm. know how to look good in them. Hey. This was created. <laughs> this was made by um, Stella Customized Fashion. Yeah, Lego. <laughs> All right. Uh. Yeah, it was designed by Stella Customized Fashion. Mm -hmm. So you can find her on social media. Mm -hmm. Look at uh, great collections. She has very great collections. Shout out to Stella Customized Fashion yeah. for this amazing work. I hope you got the shot right. <laughs> this looks amazing. Thanks. Straight to the music now. Your latest song, Zama. Zama. What inspired this song? 
Zama is a seduction song. A seduction song. Your choice I was of words. I like your choice of words. Way. <laughs> All right. Some type um, of way. Yes. Seduction it's, and provocative are not really <laughs> far apart. But anyway, we can head. <laughs> Do you know you're a bully? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a bully. Okay, so Zama, Zama, Zama is a is a dance seduction song. Mm -hmm. It's basically um, a, 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 a girl uh -huh. who's telling a man. This man thinks she ca like this man can't drown uh -huh. in her passion. Mm -hmm. So the girl is like, bring it on and uh -huh. see what happens. I'll make you drown. So is this your persona in real life? What? <laughs> this Zama concept. <laughs> Um, everyone feels some type of way sometimes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to define you. <laughs> take it back to the ladies in the building. Do you feel some type of way sometimes? You too. All right. Uh -huh. You have some days. Some days that I feel some type of way. Yes. Yes, I admit. It's human. Mm -hmm, I admit. That sometimes I feel <laughs> some type of way. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not just about the ladies. Uh -huh. It's a human It's a human nature. thing. Yes. So you express this. Sometimes you're happy. Sometimes you're sad. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're naughty. Sometimes you're nice. Sometimes you're naughty, sometimes you're nice. I like your choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who produced the audio? Um, audio was produced by MG. MG? Yes. Uh -huh. um, MG is the same guy who did the, the other one? No. The first song was done by RK. RK? Yes. Uh, but currently, RK is not in the country. Amanda Abbey? States. Oh, he's in the States. <laughs> yeah. All right. MG I'm is the one who produces mm. for Gilad, Have uh -huh. the Band. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a very good producer. Yeah, he he has a lot of hits. I, was, yes. I think I've had the name. I've just not put a face to the name yet. Yeah. Uh, is he the one who's responsible for the upcoming album, your debut album? No, no. Mm -hmm. You're going to be working with different producers? Yes. How many tracks should we look out for? Um, around 15. Around 15 tracks? Yes. How many tracks are ready? Actually, I've recorded all of them. I'm You've waiting. recorded all the tracks? Yeah, I've written and recorded. So I'm waiting for them time. to be mastered. Uh -huh. Then uh, maybe they'll select which ones not to put in the album. MG is still doing the mixing and mastering. Um, actually, I'm, I'm, you know Chris Adwar? Chris Adwar, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. the one who's mastering the album. the Villages album. Band, I think. Yes. Uh -huh. He's mastering the album. Mm -hmm. You're working with the greats. You're a great as well. <laughs> so this album is definitely going to be great. I hope everyone will like it, actually. All right. Yeah. So Zama is the lead single. Yes. How many videos are you planning to shoot of the album? Um, I have to know exactly how many um, audios I'll have in the album first, mm -hmm. because um, we have to select which songs will make in the, into the album. All right. Before I decide how many videos I'm going to, to shoot. All right. Yeah. But uh, you have the budget already <laughs> and everything. Or well, before we get to the budget, <laughs> are you are an indie artist or are you signed to MG or any other label? No, I'm independent. You're independent? Yeah. So you finance all these things by yourself? No, my parents do. Your parents do? They support? Yeah, they support me. They support my career. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's amazing. I wish I had amazing parents like yours <laughs> who I could tell <laughs> I want to do music and they finance it for me. You have to convince them actually. You, so you, you did, have. I you had, had to, to do some convincing. I I had to do a it lot of convincing because at first right. they right. were like, no, you 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 studied um, IT. Mm -hmm. You need to be in the office doing something with your brain. I mean, uh -huh. uh, my dad told me I didn't raise you to be a beauty queen, so <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was you tough. Were beautiful from the jump, anyway. It it was it was tough to um, convince my dad mm -hmm. that I want to go into the entertainment. But mom was easier. Uh, my mom was Because she has a history in, exactly. in the industry. But yeah. my dad is a very African father. All right. A so it was, it was so difficult. Mm -hmm. But um, after some times, he, he actually saw the steps I'm making. He saw mm -hmm. my passion. passion. Mm -hmm. And he, okay, I, I convinced him that um, I don't have to be a bad person if I get into the industry. Because mm -hmm. most, most parents are scared that the moment you get into entertainment, you'll engage in drugs, I don't know what, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, I think... Um, but is this really true? Is there a truth value to this statement? That uh, drugs is an occupational hazard in the music industry? I can't say it's true. It's more, it's more of a stereotype. Uh -huh. the, the way they'll say, um, the, the artists who came way but before I us... With artists, yeah, they, the artists they. who came way before us mm -hmm. made it a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. 
you understand mm -hmm. so a lot of people might actually judge all musicians according to that but not right. all of them do mm -hmm. that in some, fact i have a lot of friends claim that it helps with their creativity is this true no that's the kind of stereotype that the ones who came before us mm -hmm. brought to us what is your creative process like is it a sober one i i pref i prefer to be fully aware when i'm creative when i'm being creative fully aware, fully I, aware. Like I, 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 I like to be uh -huh. I've, right. actually i've never taken alcohol or something stuff ever like that. in your life never you're somebody to look up to. <laughs> so um, I, I feel more confident mm -hmm. when I'm fully aware of myself, when I'm mm -hmm. sober. Amazing. So whatever decision I make, whether it's bad or good, mm -hmm. I know I'm the one who did it. No influence. No influence yeah. at all. Yes. So tell me a, a little bit about <laughs> how you managed to hang out in the club. Mm -hmm. And uh, on Wednesdays and Sundays, you host... Yeah, and uh, I have friends who actually drink, so mm -hmm. it's not hard. It's just about knowing what you want, what you like, and what you don't like. <coughs> if you don't know, that's when you can be influenced. Um, take this, take that. Mm -hmm. And I have friends who respect me, so when I say no, they won't try to pressure me into something I'm uncomfortable with. You're somebody to look after. I was, I was to ask you. What actually, my uh, friends, my friends who drink, tell me never. Don't, don't even start. <laughs> they gave you they, the warning. <laughs> they always right. tell me that. Um, we'll go out and they'll drink, then I'll, I'll be the one to take care of them. Mm -hmm. Then in the morning they're like, uh -huh. Hoinke, don't ever right. test. So I don't have a reason to. All right. Uh, let's listen to, oh, let's view Zama and then we'll be back. And don't be judgmental. No, I won't be judgmental at all. I just want to <laughs> derive some judgmental. questions. <laughs> I want, uh, when I'm going to be asking the questions, I want people to understand the, why I'll be asking the questions <laughs> okay. I'm asking. So let's see Zama by Wayinke, and then we'll be back with some more of this. Uh. That's a, a trailer of uh, Zama by Wayinke. Uh -huh. uh, I'd like to take time to appreciate the, the quality of the video. Thank You're you. You're pushing the game for it. I appreciate that. Thanks. Uh, I love the dancers as well. I Thank love the you. color. I love the lights. Who directed the video? Johnson Kialo. Johnson Kialo. Yes. Kialo the same one who um, directed my first video, Nye. All right, all right. So you have like a working relation with this guy. Yeah, he's very good. All right. 
and uh, I've seen the pro. What did you call it? A seductive dance. <laughs> mm? It's quite seductive as well. Even the lyrics are. The lyrics so are seductive. Yeah. Or <laughs> should we look out for more of this on the album? Or this is the only seductive song on the album? No, it's not the only one. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> made by us. Who are some of your influences in the music industry? The weekend, Locally. by chance. The weekend. Do you listen to the weekend? Yes. Makes sense a little bit. <laughs> All right. And who else? Locally. Yes. And anywhere else? Um, I have Vanessa Mde. Vanessa is amazing. Yeah. Avril. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, from Uganda, I've listened to Juliana. Juliana so Kanyamozi. Uh, I weird. know all her songs. I don't. I don't know what they mean, but I can sing. All right. <laughs> all so songs. you speak Luganda in oblivion, yeah. Bila kujuona semane. Exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm uh, obsessed with her. Then Victoria Kimani. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's amazing. And uh, I got to ask, before you give us your social media handles, uh -huh. uh, or <laughs> the outfit. The outfit got people struck. Alicia Sama, give us the name of the designer again. Um, Stella Customized Fashion. Stella Customized Fashion. Yeah, by Charity Karimi. Uh -huh. Yeah. If uh, if you go on social media, Instagram, Facebook, search for Stella Customized Fashion. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's time for you to shine now. Your social, your personal social media handles. Your camera is number four. Uh, my social media handles is Wayinke. Wayinke. On all platforms. Um, YouTube Wayinke Vivo. Mm -hmm. It's Wayinke, not Wanyike, not Wanyoike, not anything else. Wayinke. <laughs> Wayinke. W a y i n k e. Wayinke. Amazing. So when you go to the internet and search Wayinke, I'm the only person you'll find. Mm -hmm. The only one with that name. We're looking forward to, to the album. When is it dropping? Um, probably by December. By December we'll have yeah. the album ready. Yeah. And a couple of more videos. Yes. Amazing. Thank you very much for coming, Wayinke. We'll be playing the song. We'll be playing the song <laughs> again. Uh, okay. Nye as well. Okay. Uh, Nye, you launched it here. Yes. I remember. Yeah, I did. So we'll play this new one mm -hmm. and play Nye for those who missed it on the, the other round. So we appreciate you. Keep putting in the work. Thank Whenever you, you have an, an, another song. And I'm glad you followed the instruction. This is the home of exclusive. And you brought it here first. Yes. Thank, thank you. you very much. Uh, this has been another segment of Music and Lifestyle. But before we go, I have to appreciate the Y in the Morning family and the viewers of Y in the Morning. So I'll read some of your WhatsApp messages. Keep them coming. And remember to start your message with your name or end it with your name so we can give you a shout out. And uh, somebody says, Wallace from Gilo. Gilo has to be Gilgil. Uh, Nico, Nico rocked. <laughs> All right. That video is so romantic and the voice is emoji with the kisses. <laughs> and uh, God bless you as you grow in your music industry. Thank you. Thank That's you a so direct much. message to you, Wayinke. Thanks. Uh, ask Wayinke why, sh why can't she do gospel? Judy Kolundu. Um, I, I, I believe, I, I was raised in the church uh -huh. and I believe um, you don't take pretense to the church. When, when I sit down to write, when, when I go to my creative space, mm -hmm. it doesn't come from the Bible. Mm -hmm. So I can't, I can't lie to the people that I'm singing to God mm -hmm. when I'm not doing it from my heart. That's deep. And when, I'm so when glad you write, you when you write something, uh -huh. um, th it's, there's a certain type of anointing that um, church leaders are given. Gospel musicians are church leaders. Mm -hmm. In Ito Upako. All right. Amazing. You the need last to have one. That. The last one. Joe Kiba <laughs> says, Val is my favorite. Uh, yeah, I see you, Joe Kiba. I see you. Uh, <laughs> and she says, Wayinke, you looks amazing. And, uh, uh, and I appreciate the fact that you put branding and uh, fashion into your craft. Thank and it you. goes a long way for you. So thank you. Thank you so much. Fans wa me appreciate. My fans wa me samandio. Yes, enough of music and lifestyle. I go by the name of Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses on every social media platform. And it's my birthday. Keep the birthday wishes coming. Oh, yes, Kala happy Miva. birthday. <laughs> and Shiko Gaitani. Definitely, we'll be back with tomorrow in the morning. So don't go nowhere.